I certainly think we're about to see a significant uh, increase in volume in the sector. And I think you can judge our success uh, as to how much we exploit that opportunity. All the ingredients are there. I think what needs to happen next is that the developers and operators in the sector start to deliver the volume, which we've long talked about, and we start to develop the kind of customer engagement in what really great senior living looks like. And I think once we get those two things working together, then I really do hope that we can be at the top end of what the sector potentially has to offer. I think uh, first and foremost, I think it's about consumers understanding what the offers are out there. And time and time again, particularly in the mid-market, we hear people saying that I'd like to uh, change my housing to be more major age appropriate and perhaps release some equity for my family or for my own aspirations in later age. But I look in the community around me and I don't see what I want. And most of our older customers tell us that they want to stay quite local and they want a really great product. You know, they want their last home to be their best home. You know, they really want something which has got that wow factor. And why not? Because we're talking about people who've worked hard all their life. So I think the biggest constraint, and it's a bit chicken and egg if you like, is that once we bring product to the market, our customers uh, do want to buy it. So that latent demand is there. So I think it's really about us showing our customers what good looks like and actually giving them the answer to their customer demands. And I think that's really great customer service. And when you get into that point, that's when you gain, you start to build the volume. I think there is a good alignment. I think there are probably two camps in the industry. Uh, one is very much about uh, a standard uh, housing or developer less product. And I think you've seen, we've just had Clive Fenton from McCarthy and Stone showing some of the great stuff that they're doing. Um, and I think the other side is around the housing operator model, which is perhaps closer to my season and Baycroft brands. And I think we are seeing a customer become more sophisticated in terms of demanding. And it's maybe not just always about housing, um, it's about housing and crucially the services that sit within it. So I think we're beginning to understand as a sector that just building great property, yeah, that's maybe 60% of the answer, but the other 40%, and if you like the defining element, is what happens when I get there. You know, how good is the bistro? Will I meet other people? Will I have a more enlivened lifestyle? Will I enjoy my later life more because I've lived, uh, choosing to live in one of these uh, schemes? rather than staying where I am, and I think that's the crucial bit. I think it's really important events like this help us understand what good looks like in the sector, and so we can go away with all the learning that we've picked up from different parts of the development industry and from investors, take that back and hopefully bring it forward so we can great, bring great new product uh, to the market.